Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'll be tying a super simple, like I mean super simple, great pattern to start with. Super simple chronomid pattern. Um, it's just a little blood worm with a rib. That's it. Super simple. Um, one ingredient other than the thread. So. Um, <clears throat> really effective pattern, especially at ice off. I find this one really, really effective. Um, sometimes I'll tie them with an underbody weight. Sometimes I won't. Today I won't. But uh, just for the sake of uh, ease, because I want this one for the real beginners. So we're going to start off. <clears throat> this is a Hens um, 600 size 12 swimming nymph hook. I really like the swimming nymph hooks. Um, I'll uh, pinch the barb <clears throat> later on. Excuse me, I just uh, <clears throat> I just uh, had a had a peanut go down wrong about a half an hour, 45 minutes ago, and it's still kind of tickling every once in a while. So, alrighty, so yeah, like I said, this is a, a swimming nymph hook. It's actually it's kind of hard to see in the in in the uh, camera, but it, it is gold. Um, if you can find them in black, uh, great. If you can find them in red, great. So, um, I'm, today I'm going to be using a uh, Danville's uh, flat wax nylon in red. Uh, Semperfly makes a, a classic waxed in the red as well. That's really nice. I just uh, I ran out of it. So and and the the uh, nano silk. I really like the nano silk uh, in the red, but it it just doesn't show up quite right. Um, actually, here's one I tied a little earlier, and you can see that it's 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 more of a uh, it's it's quite a bit darker. I mean, I got some black in there, but that's on purpose. Um, so uh, I I like having some of those in the in the in the box as well, but. I do prefer having a re this really bright red, so um, <clears throat> I'm just going to start my thread, and then right away, because this is a bit thicker than the nano silk and stuff, and I want to keep this thin, um, right away I'm going to put in my rib. <clears throat> On this fly, the rib is uh, Ultra UTC Ultra in black, and it's a small. Just gonna tie that right there, right in on my uh, offer it in on my side here, and try to keep it in on my side. I'm just gonna come all the way back to this corner, and then I'm gonna start coming back. And I'm gonna stop about there, and I'm gonna flatten the thread just to make sure that it's nice and flat. I want to keep the thin profile on these, right? Like I said, this is such a super, super simple and probably one of my most effective, um, oh, I should turn that light on, uh, one of my most effective uh, uh, um, bloodworm patterns because it's so simple. <clears throat> so I like doing one full turn at the butt and then I'll open it up. And one more right there behind the eye. Tie that off. Make sure that's nicely secure. Helicopter off your wire. Then what I like to do is I like to put a little, just a little bit of a black head on this. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can you can use like a wax, like a black wax, and wax your thread, and it'll turn it black. What I really like doing is just taking a sharpie, just making my my thread rub a couple of inches. Making it black. <clears throat> that might not be enough. I might have to do more. Yeah, I will have to do more because I need some for the the whip finish as well. And just so now I'm just gonna go back about about a quarter of an inch and come forward, and then I'll do a little bit of a whip finish. <clears throat> Make sure that's nice and tight in there. That wire could have been a tiny bit tighter, but that's okay because I'm going to coat it now. You won't even see it. So now I'm going to coat it with some Gulf Thinman. Really like the Zemperfly no-tack resin, but this stuff here is really good for uh, 
for these small flies, uh, especially that you want to just get a really thin coat on. And I really want a thin, thin coat on these, right? I don't want much on them. <coughs> so that'll be enough for the whole thing. Put that on the other side as well. Underneath. Just spread that out. Could have went a little bit further on this butt. A little bit further around the corner just to get a bit more of that S shape, if you want to call it that. Sit for a few seconds, zap a dap it. And there she goes. That's it. Really super simple. Now I'm going to show you guys another one. Bonus here. Same hook, same practically same fly. I'm just going to do something a little bit different with the rib. <clears throat> I like having, I mean, if you guys watched some of my other videos, you guys will know. I like having multiple different styles, like the same, the same pattern, but with multiple different uh, versions of that. Um, I like having that. Um, and the reason is because you just never know what the fish wants. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm gonna, where is it? Right here, I think. No, that's not the right one. Nope, right here. <coughs> so I'm going to go again with that black first. Black rib. Just get that tied in. Then I'm going to take some of the Zemperfly Pertagon body in Luminous, really small. And this just adds another little, just another attractant, if you want to call it that, to the fly. And we're going to just offer that in on this side. And then I'll try to keep the wire and that Luminous body on this side. And I'm going to try to go around the corner on this one a little bit more than I did on the last one. Get that shape and come back up. Just flatten that out just a little bit. Back forward all the way to the front right behind your eye. Take your luminous or your, your black, whatever you prefer. I like doing the luminous first just because it's a little thicker, like wider, and it's easier to follow, and not just wrap that all the way up, giving yourself a decent amount of space between each one. Again, not too, too concerned about the head area. It's going to get covered in that same black. But <clears throat> and now I'll take the black wire and I'll follow the luminous right behind it. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a bugger, but you know why? Because I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> no, I'm not. So, okay, bingo. That's what I want. Right like that. Just try to... You might have to take your time. Sometimes this stuff will slip. Why did that go all... Wonky. That did go wonky. There we go. I was going the wrong way. Man, not paying attention. So, just 
on the leading edge of that luminous or on the back edge, whatever you want, but don't cover that luminous stuff up, right? You want to, you want that stuff to show through. I just did another coronamid a little while ago with that luminous. I just really like this stuff. It just uh, adds that little bit of attractant to the flies, right? Take off the wire, helicopter that off. <clears throat> sharpie, sharpie. Get my whip finisher and I'll whip finish, use that to whip finish right away. And I'll use that to create my black, little black head. Just creating a little black head. That's all. Doesn't have to be very big. I'm pulling really hard on that to get that thread nice and tight in there. <coughs> and again, there you go, right? Why is that going out of focus? That's stupid. Yeah, so now I'm going to coat this as well. Same stuff, Gulf Thinman. Uh, put a little bit too much on that time, which is fine. I can put some, try to put it back in. I won't be able to, I don't think. No, I'll we'll just wipe it off. Just want to make sure these are coated um, for a few reasons. One, it does help bring the color out. Um, and it does, uh, it, well, obviously it helps protect them from, from the fish's teeth. That's fairly obvious, but uh, it does bring the, the color in the rib and stuff out, right? It really pop, makes it pop. Um, so let's just let that sit for a second. And then you'll see once I hit this with a UV light, what that luminous does. I don't like, what, I don't like that bump back here. Boom, look at how that lights up, right? That luminous. Now the Pertagon body, you can get in all kinds of different colors. I mean, like tons of different colors. There's uh, like here's an iridescent copper, right? But it's not as luminous, right? And then there, I mean, there's so many colors. There's greens and oranges and blues and all kinds of stuff for these, uh, for the Pertagon body. But um, this stuff here, the, the luminous really just lights right up right so it's just another little thing to have another attractant to have um, and then when i'm done that obviously I'll, I'll like i like doing i like putting on a little coating of uh sally's once that is dry just as an additional hardener um and it also because it's so much thinner if i happen to have missed any little holes or anything like that it'll flow into that right so i'm just putting a light little coat on it just as an additional protectant and that's it <clears throat> let that dry and she's finished so you've got that one you've got that one that I just did it prior to that you've got this one is with the nano silk so it's got a little bit of a different almost a coppery color um, and I, I, I would put for me I would put a second coat on this one here just to make it more smooth body like this is Right, and that's it. Like like I said, it's a fair, really simple pattern, um, super effective, especially at ice off. Man, I just love bloodworms at ice off. Um, I do so well with them. So, alrighty, well, tight lines. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, you can also put a little black, tiny little black bead on there ins instead. That'll give you that uh, that uh, black head, um, and it'll give you a little bit of weight. Um, you could also use just that really thin layer of. Um, uh, sticky back flat lead underneath. It'll end up being a little bit thicker, but it'll still be okay. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give her a thumbs up. 
If you've uh, subscribed, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Uh, we just passed, uh, I think, a little over 1,200 people now subscribed. Once we hit, uh, I did a giveaway at 1,000. I'll do a bigger giveaway at 2,000. So share, share, let everybody know, spread the word, and we'll go from there. Thailand's everyone. See you next time video.